This Equipment World video is brought to you by Philips 66 Lubricants, keeping the world running smoothly. Hey guys, what's going on? Wayne here. So look, it's not very often when covering the construction equipment industry, really, I guess any industry, uh, that you see a new product or a new feature or some kind of innovation announced that you know pretty immediately gives you the impression that it has the potential to make an impact on that industry for many years to come. You know, to echo through time if you want to be dramatic. But today, I think we might have one to talk about. Let's get into it. Now look, I mentioned at the top of the video that these types of introductions or innovations are, are pretty few and far between. I think that the last one that I saw that was pretty obvious was back in 2013. I was in Cartersville, Georgia at Komatsu's uh, kind of customer center. They introduced the D61i-23 dozers and those were the first machines uh, to have fully integrated machine control. Those are the very first intelligent machine control uh, machines to hit the market. Now, obviously that system and that type of feature, the, the whole fully integrated machine control from the factory uh, technology set, those have expanded. There's, there's a bunch of Komatsu machines that have that technology now, excavators and dozers alike. Uh, and it has spread to other OEMs. You know, CAT's got grade with 3D control on many of their machines. John Deere has its smart grade integrated machine control now on dozers, excavators, and motor graders. So you go back to 2013, you look at intelligent machine control from Komatsu, and you can pretty much say right then and there that that is an industry changing technology. But now I think it's Doosan's turn to introduce a potentially industry changing technology, and that is their new transparent loader bucket. And this feature is gonna launch first on their completely redesigned next generation Dash 7 loaders. Now, obviously the bucket isn't actually transparent. Doosan haven't you know, developed some kind of special acrylic material or some kind of super strong glass material that can now be used as a loader bucket. And even if they had, you would still at some point have to put material in it and then the bucket is no longer clear. So that's not what's going on. Plus this isn't science fiction, obviously, right? They haven't pulled off some, you know, cloaking technology from the depths of military development or, you know, Star Trek. No, instead they're actually implementing a pretty smart use of existing technology to solve a, you know, a pretty considerable safety and efficiency problem for loader operators, especially for those in load and carry applications. But look, to explain what the transparent bucket system does, it's, it's, it's really useful to kind of take a step back and first explain the problem that Doosan was trying to solve. Now look, over the years, manufacturers of wheel loaders have really taken great strides in the way of increasing visibility for the operator inside the cab. And they have done that through really kind of two ways. First, they have in increased the overall amount of glass inside the cab. They have minimized kind of those, uh, those parts of the frame. They've minimized the metal. They've made the openings wider. They've made you know it possible to put more glass in there to give you more view of the outside world. And then another way some manufacturers have done it is they've really kind of you know redesigned their cooling packages and whatever's to the rear of that machine to give you more rear visibility. And as we're going to get into in a future video, you know, Doosan is no exception with its new loaders. The visibility on these new Dash 7 loaders is fantastic. But obviously there's one big obstruction to visibility that can't be solved with new glass or, you know, redesigning the structure of the machine and that's the bucket. No matter how you're carrying the bucket and the load, whether you're carrying it high, whether you're carrying it low, whatever is beyond that bucket is obstructed from your field of view. And that could include, you know, just the pile that you're digging into. You obviously, you, you, you can only see the back of that bucket as you dig into a pile. A lot of that, you know, especially as operators are learning, they have to learn that feel of digging into a pile. Or maybe you're navigating the job site and there's large rocks or some other kind of obstacles in the way that you either have to remember or, you know, kind of avoid, you know, completely. And hopefully you've got, you know, a newer loader that gives you better kind of angles to the ground. Or, you know, maybe you're getting used to uh, getting up against a, a truck for the first time that day and you're having to kind of negotiate how far away you want the machine from that especially for younger operators you know and usually at some point it kind of involves some kind of you know head craning to kind of kind of see everything around and beyond that bucket. I mean it's kind of funny because I doubt many loader operators out there or, or anybody else really you know, I, I wonder how many actually looked at this as a problem, right? Like what the bucket 
obstructs as a problem because it's just kind of part of you know using a wheel loader. Um, but when you think about the time that could be saved, the efficiency that could be improved, and how much safer operation could be, if you could actually see what is in front or beyond that bucket, it starts to make a lot of sense. And Doosan is solving this problem with a little bit of AR, or augmented reality technology. And like any augmented reality situation, it involves the use of cameras and a display to give you this augmented view of the job site sans bucket. Doosan says the system uses two cameras, one mounted high on the machine atop the cab, and another mounted low on the machine, essentially between the front wheels right there under the linkage. And the reason that there are two cameras is because the bucket moves in two directions, up and down. So when the bucket is low, obviously that bucket is obstructing the view of the lower camera, but the high camera still has a clear view of everything in front of the loader. When the bucket is moved up high, obviously that high camera is now obstructed, but the low camera still has a clear field of view. But look, the system doesn't just switch between these two views to give you this unobstructed view. It's way smarter than that. Now, instead, the system actually stitches those camera views together. And as the loader moves through the job site, an onboard video controller automatically uses each of those camera views to compensate for what the other can't see. So in the end, the result is a single, nice and wide, completely unobstructed view of the job site and what is right there beyond the bucket on your nice and big in-cab display. Plus, Doosan even puts kind of like the outline of that bucket. So in the actual in-cab display, the bucket is transparent. Even in kind of the concept demonstration video that Doosan has provided us with right here, um, you know, you can kind of see the safety potential that this system has in avoiding objects or obstacles that are kind of low on the ground or otherwise out of your field of view. But obviously the most practical use for this technology is really going to be for operators as they, you know, either dig into a pile or as they approach a truck to load it. You know, having this technology there at a glance to kind of speed along th that process is probably going to be a big deal for many operators out there. And I would say especially for those who are just learning the machine. And like I said at the top of this video, I really feel like this technology has the potential to be everywhere in a few years. But before we get into that, I do want to take a quick second right here to tell you about the sponsor of this video, Philip 66 Lubricants. Look, construction and mining are tough environments, not just on the people doing these jobs, but on the machines that they're using to get those jobs done. And when you depend on a machine to move massive amounts of dirt in as little time as possible and in extreme hot and cold conditions, these machines need the toughest lubricants possible to protect them. See, Philips 66 has put thousands of hours into testing products like Gardol ECT, and with proven wear and corrosion protection, it's clear why 60% of the thousands of mining operations in the United States trust one brand to keep their equipment going, Philips 66 Lubricants. So look, whatever you've got, graders, end loaders, dump trucks, trucks, Philips 66 will protect it. You can even call the Philips 66 technical hotline and talk to experts one-on-one -on -one about their product, Philips 66 Lubricants, keeping the world running smoothly. Obviously, Doosan is the first to implement it, but I wouldn't be surprised if this kind of became an industry standard, you know, across all OEMs in a few years, just as the uh, backup camera has become on wheel loaders. It really is a development of the backup camera specifically in both the kind of automotive and off-highway industries that you can thank for a technology like the transparent bucket system. For instance, the progression of the backup camera technology is what gave us, you know, the bird's eye or aerial view technology that some cars, trucks, and some heavy equipment have today, where basically the system uses, you know, several cameras around the machine to kind of stitch together a view that gives you an overhead and around the machine shot to kind of see your complete surrounding. Hyundai was the very first to bring this bird's eye view technology to their machine. And, and like I mentioned earlier, they also have the proximity alarms and everything else so that you get a full view of what's around the machine uh, for safety. Now, using that bird's eye view type system on other automobiles that they had seen, you know, GM used that system as inspiration for their transparent trailer technology. Now, this launched on 2020 model year heavy duty trucks at GM and like Doosan's transparent bucket, 
This transparent trailer system stitches together views from both the rear and sides of the truck and a camera on the rear of the trailer to allow you to see what's behind the trailer as if the trailer weren't there. And when Doosan first started talking about this transparent bucket, that transparent trailer on, you know, introduced back in 2019 by GM was really the first thing I thought of. They are very similar approaches to two very similar problems. Now, Doosan says this transparent bucket was not specifically requested by customers. Nobody was like, hey, the bucket, it's a huge problem. I need to be able to see through it and what's on the other side of it. Instead, it was really, you know, Doosan executives and engineers basically identified that this technology, this, this camera stitching uh, technology was possible and they were looking for something to implement it into and the, you know, the visibility concerns that Doosan kind of hears, you know, year in and year out from customers. I want you to improve the visibility, keep improving the visibility of the machine. They felt like that was a perfect kind of space to implement this technology um, and have an industry first innovation there. And like I said earlier, I feel like this specific technology, Doosan's transparent bucket, really really has the opportunity uh, to kind of spread across the industry, especially when you consider how we're really at just the very beginning stages of how augmented reality and how AR is going to impact the world around us. Because AR is really that next frontier that all the big Silicon Valley companies are really trying to tackle. I mean, look at Apple's latest iPhones and iPads. They have, you know, pretty stunning AR technology built into them. If you go, you can Google like certain dinosaurs and when you tap the dinosaur, you can actually place it in your room and kind of see the scale of the dinosaur. Or if you're shopping at Ikea or some other place, you can preview that furniture in your room. That's very low stakes stuff, right? Apple put LiDAR in the backs of their phones and iPads to improve that technology. They're working on glasses. They're gonna put this stuff directly in your field of view. So it's not out of the realm you know, of belief that you know, Doosan's transparent bucket technology, instead of just being constrained to an in-cab display, could one day be projected into the entire windshield of the machine and you would be able to turn that feature on and off. And when you need to see through that bucket, you can actually see through the bucket. So even though the bucket itself isn't transparent, I mean, for all purposes, you know, when you're behind that, you know, that projection inside the cab, the bucket's transparent. And, you know, beyond AR, when it comes to construction, you know, remote operation is another thing, you know, so even before we had the ability to kind of project those types of views onto glass in a loader, you know, uh, CAT's command module that allows you to basically operate its machinery from thousands of miles away. I mean, I remember back at Bama in 2019, I operated a D8 that was in Illinois from Munich in Germany. Um, and I was marveling back then at how good the camera quality was and how good the connection was and how uh, you know the response time and the controls was just so, so smooth. So that's coming and eventually you're gonna have some operators, especially those and maybe some more dangerous uh, kind of situations where you know businesses wanna keep the operators out of the actual machines. They're gonna start you know, operating uh, machines full time from an office, and so in that sense, if you're if you're operating the whole machine from a set of monitors anyway, and you can put something like a transparent bucket right there on the screen, that's a big deal. But look, regardless of how far this transparent bucket technology spreads, or you know, put aside everything we were just talking about, you know, today the end result of this technology is an increase in safety and convenience for the operator and a reduction in fatigue. Now look, as I said before, Doosan's transparent bucket technology is gonna be launching on its new next generation Dash 7 loader lineup. Now look, we're gonna have a full video on that Dash 7 loader lineup coming up very shortly, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that one. And Doosan's transparent bucket feature will be available as an option on those Dash 7 loaders starting in July. All right, guys, well, that's gonna wrap it up here for our look at Doosan's new transparent bucket technology launching soon on the Dash 7 wheel loaders. But we wanna hear what you think. Let us know what you think of this new technology, the potential of augmented reality, and everything else kind of cutting edge that we've been talking about here on this video. Let us know what you think in the comments below. We always love hearing from you guys. And if you like this video, if you found the information in it useful in any kind of way, please do us a favor, hit that like button below. It really does help the channel out. And if you want more videos, more coverage of construction equipment, head on over to our website at equipmentworld.com. And while you're there, subscribe. 
subscribe to our daily newsletter. And if you haven't already, subscribe right here on YouTube, hit that subscribe button below, and hit the bell as well, turn on notifications, so you're getting up to the minute alerts whenever we drop a new video. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. We always appreciate the time. We'll see you in the next one.